Michael from Fowlsey once again to Tuesday afternoon preview. Tomorrow's auction, Wednesday the 25th of September 2019 at 10am. Once again, we have another huge auction for you this week. Let's go for a walk and check it all out. Alright, starting down the back here, we've got a whole heap of uh, F5 pint, 90 by 45. There's a lot of 5.4s there this week. Also about a, a half a dozen packs of 6.0s there as well. Directly uh, over, the, over the opposite there, we've got uh, 125 by 75 treated pine posts. All right, over here, bit of, uh, bit of fire damaged stock, which will be cleared to the high speeder there tomorrow. A uh, bit of 42 by 34 pine uh, battens there. They're actually clears, but um, yeah, there's a little, been, uh, little bit of barbecue on some of them. So um, yeah, they'll, they'll go to the high speeder. Uh, make sure you're here for some of that because there is some decent stock in amongst it. Uh, tiles, we've got a few, half a dozen or so pallets of tiles there uh, for tomorrow. Uh, palings, we've got the 100 mil and also the 120, uh, 150 uh, mil palings in the 1.8 metre lengths there. Uh, lots of long length treated pine, including, have a look at this, 150 by 25 plinth boards, 5.4s, there is five nice big packs of that. Uh, ripper looking stock, they've also got some good sleepers which you'll be able to see shortly as well. Alright. All right, a few more pallets of a sort. Uh, miscellaneous tiles and stone in the corner there. Uh, over here we have four packs of standard grey treated pine decking, 90 by 22. Uh, so there's four packs of those. Uh, there's a few packs of the utility grade pine, 90 by 45. Uh, I think there's 2.4s, 4.8s and 5.4 metre lengths. Uh, some more long length treated pine in the back there. Uh, got a bit of untreated pine here. Uh, so I can see some 140 by 35, some 190 by 35 there. Uh, also some 140 by 45 as well. Uh, a few packs, uh, more packs of treated pine, 90 by 45 I can see down the back there. There's a nice stock out there. Over here is where we start the auction tomorrow. We've got the uh, bit of the utility grade uh, 90 by 45, 2.4s to start things off with and have a look in behind that. Have a look at all these 200 by 75 uh, sleepers there. Absolutely beautiful looking stock. Uh, there's a heap of it there, so 200 by 75, 2.7s. Uh, just don't get them very often, so make sure if you've been looking for sleepers, don't miss out on those there tomorrow. All right, in here we've got three nice big semi-loads of uh, MDF sheets, the stuff that comes in here once every couple of years or so. Uh, so there's a bit of white paint uh, on most of the sheets there, but other than that, they're uh, in pretty good nick, as you can see. 3,600, uh, I think by 1,200 by 16 mil thick. Uh, so we've got three nice semi-loads of that. All right, so we make our way inside now. All right, we've had a huge load of Vic Ash uh, over here. As you can see, there is a uh, heap of it here, a heap of different sizes there as well. Uh, there's 90 by 45, I can see some 300 by 38, I can see some sanded and better grade architraves in bullnose. Uh, there's shiplap cladding in the Vic Ash there as well. Uh, there's some 90 by 90 there. 42 by 32 batten sizes there. I've got a few packs of the uh, sort of stair, tread and riser sizes, some 285 by 43, uh, some 135, 32, 285 by 33 there as well. Uh, heaps and heaps of different stock there, including all this stuff over here, uh, the shorter length material, a whole heap of the uh, bench top uh, type products there. So you've got the uh, 900 by 33, two fours. We've also got one pack in here, lot 579, 900 by 33, 2.4s, and it is Jarrah, okay? So all the rest of Vic Ash, but um, there is uh, one pack of Jarrah, lot 579. Uh, so 125 by 50 there as well, 641 by 33, 152 by 95, 90 by 90, gee whiz, there's a great selection of Ash there tomorrow. Uh, have a look at it all, and it all starts, I think, at around about... Uh, we start the Vic Ash tomorrow at lot 568, so yeah, probably about an uh, hour, hour and a half into the auction roughly. Uh, over here, lots more decking, so we've got Spotter Gum, uh, 86 by 19, 135 by 19, I think there's some 140 by 25, and possibly some 135 by 32 there as well. Uh, also got a couple mixed packs of uh, flooring in the end here, a variety of different species and uh, sizes there. Um, so lot 333 and 334 there, so it might be worth a look there. I'm sure they'll go uh, nice and cheap. All right, have a look at these couple of packs here, lots uh, 380 and 381. 
Lot 380 is your 80 by 14. This is spot a gun that we, uh, we sell a lot of. Uh, 80 by 14. All right, so there's, that's a pre-finished one there, lot 380. 381 is also pre-finished, but it's in the wider board in the, uh, uh, the 130 by 14. It is a really, really nice looking product. So there's one pallet of each there. Decent quantities in the pallet there. Couple packs of Vic Ash flooring have snuck their way in here. So lot 5, 16 and 17. Hasn't been any of that for quite a while. So um, yeah, a couple of packs there for tomorrow. A uh, pack of posts, a whole heap of overlay flooring in here, variety of different species. Uh, heaps more timber flooring which has just come in, so we've got some uh, 180 by 21 spotter gum, some 80 by 19 brush box here, got a few packs of that. Uh, 130 by 19 tallow wood, few packs of that. Uh, 130 by 19 black butt, uh, there's red iron bark in an 80 by 19. Uh, some more 130 by 19 tallow wood, another, another quite a few packs of that, more black butt there. Uh, tell her black but yeah, great uh, great variety of uh, good species there uh, a bit more tazzy oak up the top there uh, a variety of different sizes in the tazzy oak uh, and a few more packs of flooring down the end here as well uh, I can see some red iron bark there some silver top stringy bark uh, some weather boards there lots uh, 441 down to 443 and that's pretty well it. It's an absolutely sensational auction here for you tomorrow. Uh, also, we've got the uh, home renovators auction and the carpet auction. We've all got three really good auctions in tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you here at 10 a.m.